Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the new blur options in Photoshop CS6. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and in order to find these new options you're going to be looking under the filter menu and then go down to blur. And you can see that you have all of the previous options available in Photoshop but you also have these three new options up at the top. So you have field blur, iris blur, and tilt shift. So the first one that we're going to be applying is called Field Blur, so I'm just going to click on that to apply it to my image. And you can see that it instantly blurs out the image. Now basically we have this um, circle in the middle, there's a middle point, and then there's kind of a ring around the outside, so it looks kind of like a bullseye. Now if you grab the very center, you can take and drag that point around, and if you start dragging within the outer ring, you can adjust the amount of blur in your image. Now. At this point, it's not really any different than, say, like a, a Gaussian blur or something of that nature. So what you can do now is take and create a second point somewhere else, and you can basically create a um, gradient blur, I guess, in between them. So you can kind of blur from this point to this point. So we can set the first point at a lower blur, and you can see that it's also changing the slider on the side. So if you prefer to use the slider rather than the interface actually on the image, uh, you can do that as well. So we can turn this almost all the way down and then I can just take and put that all the way up here and then I can take this one and move it down and maybe turn it down just a tad and you can see that we kind of start to get the same depth of field that you would get if you were to adjust um, the settings within like a DSLR camera. So you can see that you can simulate that really well within Photoshop um, whereas you may have not been able to do that as well in previous versions. So um, that's the first blur that I wanted to show you guys. So if I hit cancel, then we're going to go up to filter, then down to blur, and go to iris blur, which is the second one. Now the way this one works is basically that you can make more of a selection, um, a more precise selection around your object. So let's say that we want this first pillar to be more in focus. Now we can again drag the blur around by just grabbing that center point. You still have the outer ring to control how much is blurred um, and you can take now and use these nodes on the outer side uh, in order to get a more precise um, effect. So with these furthest out ones, you can see there's four of them, you can either take and rotate the field that you're blurring in or you can kind of scale in. So we're kind of going to scale in on this this pillar here and then with these other circles you can see this is in the uh, second row you have four of these um, larger circles you can take and scale those in and you want them to kind of be as close to your object as possible without completely uh, getting too far and basically what those do are kind of control um, the feathering so if you want it to be sharper um, then take and bring the circles closer to the edge and if you would like them to be a little bit more uh, easy on the feathering then bring those in now you can also take this square um, node that you have out on the furthest circle and you can drag that out and it'll make it more of a square rather than an oval. So then basically you can also add more points if you'd like to do um, other areas but for the most part um, that's the idea of the iris blur. So the last one that we're going to discuss is up under filter blur and it's called tilt shift. Now this one you're probably going to use in very specific cases. Um, you basically have a set of uh, lines here. Now you have your main center point like we've seen in the other ones. You have your ring that you can control the amount of blur and you can also take and rotate this by grabbing one of these nodes um, that you see on the first set of lines so you can kind of rotate where your blur is. You can also take with these uh, first set of lines and scale them up so you can kind of um, keep more of it in focus and then basically these are your feathering lines in this case so if you um, want more feathering or less feathering you can adjust these uh, accordingly. So you can see that we kind of got uh, the foreground here blurred out and we've got the um, top with the pillars a little bit more in focus. So those are just some of the uh, other options. So I uh, hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure and try this out because it is a lot of fun. You can definitely get some unique effects with this um, that you wouldn't have been able to get in previous versions of Photoshop, at least not as easily. Um, this gallery definitely opens up a lot of different options for depth of field um, and playing around with more artistic compositions of photography. So um, if you still haven't downloaded the Photoshop CS6 beta, I'm still putting the link down below um, in the description. So I would encourage you to download that and try out some of these before it comes out if you want to see if you want to buy it or not. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and check back next week for a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.